Generic greetings and welcome to Museum Madness. This is more of an edutainment type product than a full game. It's essentially a science and history learning mystery, which is exactly what it shows there. Uh, the idea is you're a kid and you have a friend called, I believe it's Mick? Something like that, which stands for something or other. Essentially, it's a robot in the museum. And he contacts you and says, uh, everything's gone wrong in the museum. You need to come and help me quick. And uh, immediately we're treated to some lovely, lovely, lovely pixelated graphics because this thing is getting on a bit now. I last played this... Let's do the math. Uh, 15 plus years ago. Mm, yep, yeah, probably even longer than that. Either way, I'm going to just smash through all of this text because it's a bit of a spiel to go through and all that sort of thing. It's essentially just saying that um, uh, we haven't heard from Mick the Robot, as far as I'm aware, and there, there is Mick the Robot, and he says that, oh, well, uh, the museum is down for maintenance, but there's something gone on. There's a mysterious force that has taken over the museum and the uh, the exhibits are out of control and you have to go and fix it essentially so let's just see if we can do that or rather let's have a bit of a trip down memory lane and see if this thing is actually any good as far as I can recall I I remember there being a lot of puzzles in it um, although I, I I do remember there was several exhibits as well um, and each exhibit you go to in the museum is uh, based around a different time or uh, a di different time in history or a different subject. So you've got like computers, uh, building the Transcontinental Railroad, uh, the Louisiana Purchase, uh, the Wright Brothers stuff, and you have to go around and fix the exhibits. Essentially, the film, uh, the uh, Night of the Museum. Uh, it's essentially that of the game, but without uh, Robin Williams and um, other comic actors and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's just quickly just skip ahead. Come on, we don't need to know all of this. Next, 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 and actually jump in. This theme is, it's very, very, uh, it does bring back memories of this theme, but it does grate on you after a while because it is just the same thing looped over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, anyway, so, okay, we need to get inside. Let's see what we can do. So we've, we've uh, come to the museum. Uh, the robot Mick has given us, uh, well, he's, he's, he's given us some information that we've put on a floppy disk and that'll be able to reboot the uh, the robot. So, so I wonder if anyone's around. By the way, this is close for maintenance as well. So we've got a sign. Let's have a quick look at, uh, oh, this piece of paper is not a sign. The sign's to the right. Paper says, I have no idea. Uh, Harry and Estate Supply. Dear Harry, I had to ha leave early if you... I'm not used to it. The thing is, because this is supposed to be on a... Probably a 640 by uh, 380 or 400 monitor and I'm running it at like, you know, 1080. Uh, it's, it's a bit... It's a bit clamped up. What if I can stand back? If I stand back, I had to leave early. If you need to get inside, use the combination lock on the... Something... Okay. It's somehow a combination lock. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you have to actually stand the other side of the room in order to read this thing. Either way, it says, um, look up. Okay, so if I look... Ah, yes, I remember this now. The symbol's on the top. So this is, um, symbols to get in, but we can't get in the front door. We have to go around the side. So the symbols are freedom, the world... I think that's a tree. We'll go with a tree. Um, Saturn V and a computator. Cogitator. So we'll close that. Okay. So, that's what we have symbols-wise. Uh, what's this here? This is a plaque. Let's, uh, let's see what this reads. It reads... Welcome to National Museum. Museum hours, Monday to Saturday, 10 till 6, Sunday, 12 till 4. The museum is closed for repairs. Authorised personnel may enter through the side door. Well, we are not authorised personnel, but we are going to break in nonetheless less because we're only a couple of minutes in and we're already doing some crime so we're going to head down these stairs and oh good grief there's no soft start on those stairs he's just he's just jerking up and down there's a bit of a weird animation thing there there we go i mean this game is after all what 20 odd years old now so actually it might even be close to 30 i really can't remember anyway so we will well we'll click on the keypad uh, the door won't open it must be locked right well i'll click on the door then i guess it's locked there must be somewhere to unlock it yeah that keypad too dark to find the lock. Maybe I have something in my pack. Oh, okay, so you can go in his pack and he's got a floppy disk, a flashlight, that, that we'll use that in a moment, a comb, a handkerchief, a pen, a pocket knife, and a dollar bill. Let's just roll back a second. A pocket knife. He's carrying a blade. <laughs> oh, well, different times. <laughs> I mean, I live in a fairly rough area, but this thing is just out of control. <laughs> right, so we need to get in by typing in the right combination. So it's freedom, uh, world, tree, Saturn five computers. Boom. Are we in? Oh, straight in. Get on. Right, in we go. And... 
Oh no, I've just remembered. Oh, I've just remembered this part. Okay. Um, I'm just going to point out now that some of these puzzles can be quite tedious at times. Uh, this is... Uh, we need to get in the museum, this is the side entrance, but whoever built it also built the Overlook Hotel for the, shi uh, the Stanley Kubrick version of The Shining, as in, it makes no sense the layout. You'll go around corners that'll be dead ends, you'll go into rooms that shouldn't be there because if you double back on themselves, it is a really, really, really nasty maze. So we have to walk around. We currently have picked up, I believe, number one keycard. Yeah, card to room number one. So we need to find room number one. If we go left, we can see we've got number two and four. So let's turn back around, and then we'll go to the right again which we should have exit in front of us yes we do so we'll go forward just so I'm resetting and then we'll come back so that's the actually that's the door we came in so let's take a right and then we'll take a, a straight ahead actually this should be number number three so okay so we'll take a left then and see what number we'll see what this one gets us to that is okay I'm already I'm already confused as to where we are so let's just randomly click until we find where we need to be that's a five so we don't need to be that way but we'll turn take a left and then we'll take another left and then we know we've been in all of these areas and that is dot of the museum I'm guessing exit to museum so we know it's not this way so we'll go hang on, back over straight ahead uh, left which should be number five no number three my mistake it's right door though uh, there is a door there uh, we'll take a right and that is workshop. Okay, we'll take a left then, and we have found number one. Excellent. That that was totally planned. And if you believe that, you'll believe just about anything. All right, swipe the card, and oh, you don't swipe it. You just plug it in, and door opens up. Right. Okay, close that, and then we'll go inside, and inevitably get another key card, which we will pick that up. And there's also some boxes here with it'll be things stored. So in there, there's a statue, there's a train in there, there's a like a witch on a broom. That is. God only knows what, and that's a skunk, apparently. No, sorry. It actually looked like a skunk with the American flag. If you actually look from a weird angle, I just, like, pull back. Yeah, it does actually look a bit like that. Okay, so that is number two. Look at a dead end. I don't know who built this. Anyway, so we'll go to the end, and if we turn left, this should be the exit, just so we're trying to reorient ourselves. No, no, okay, completely confused then. Uh, straight ahead, take a right, and... We'll just take a left because you know what we're totally lost here. Oh, and there's number two, right? Well, we'll, we'll that we'll, we'll take it. We'll take luck over being uh, good. Yeah, how good is he? Don't care. Is he lucky? <laughs> I'd rather have that. Right. Okay, and we will enter it that one, and we'll pick up keycard number two. So we got. Uh, pyramids, well, and a Roman column, just generic history in that one. We've got some sort of crest type shield, we've got a factory in there, we've got a stone hammer, and we've got some book learning. So we've got key card number three, so if we go this way, exit in front of us, I believe it is, that is the exit. So left, and then straight ahead, and then three on the right. Yeah, okay, right, that's fine, we're actually getting somewhere here, so we'll click on that. And swipe the card, and then we need number four, and then five. So we know we know number four is pretty much back the way we came. So it is pick that key card up, go back out. That was uh, a hang on. That, I think that was a fish, and then a penguin, and then some other stuff. But let's just let's just keep going back. Uh, no, wrong way. Back, right. I'm sure there's be a map somewhere. Right, wrong. Okay, I wonder if the robot's plan was to trap us in here forever so then we die of starvation. Maybe that is the case. Take that way and then hope we go straight ahead. Take a right and then a left and we should be there. Yep, okay, plans, plans, and then put that in there. Alright, that should uh, lure. There we go. And then we'll head in. So, this isn't the full experience of the game, by the way. If you think this is going to be a lot of your time, then actually you wouldn't be too far wrong about it. You, there's, there's a lot of puzzles in this game. Uh, I believe it's left, is it? Uh, nope. Okay, that way. We can't get in the workshop. Um, a lot of your time will be doing puzzles that are quite annoying, but because it's an edutainment type product, uh, you also will get... Um, there'll be different things to learn. Like, for, So, for example, if you go to like the real the railroad one um you will like the transcontinental railroad you'll learn about like the two companies that uh that are the two parties that uh were tasked with getting uh from east, each coast to uh promontory point 
and it tells you about the trials and that, about how, uh, you know, they were attacked several by uh, several times by Native Americans and such, and the trains derailed, and how much track they laid at a certain time, and things like that, and how you got um, uh, a lot of workers uh, from other countries come along. I think it was the Chinese, I think, uh, that used to come along, uh, they came along on the... Um, is it east or west coast? One of the coasts, anyway. And uh, they did, you know, they, they did a lot of the work and stuff like that. So it's actually quite, you know, um, educational. That. And you, obviously you've got the Wright Brothers flight and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm totally lost, by the way, if I haven't... Uh I haven't uh, sort of shown that that's the case. Uh, so the door, must, the door won't open. Well, it will open with the key card. There we go. So we will um, plonker at the key card in there, and we should gain access to the museum proper. So we'll close that, and yeah, there we go. And we'll head inside. So there's the museum. It's quite big. Ooh. Right, so we are here. This must be the main hall museum. So, have we never been here? I think we've only been here digitally. Uh, it looks like more like the inside of a tomb at night. Uh, I wonder if the place is haunted. So there's Mick, wonder if he uh, doesn't want to sit oh, oh, Alright, we have to talk to Mick, okay, whatever. So apparently I.O. error. What do you mean I.O. error? You got all the way down here to tell me you have an I.O. error. Take two aspirin and get over it. I thought you needed my help. Get a bit sassy, this kid, isn't he? Okay, let's um, let's insert the floppy disk inside there because that should be his um, information. What kept you? I've been waiting for you to arrive. My power is fading fast. You must act quickly. I need a bat now. So we need a bat. Well, it's probably going to be on these tape recorders, isn't it? By the way, if his power's fading fast and he's right next to the batteries, why can't he just pick it up? This robot's just a really crap Johnny Five. That's all it is, like the de-armed version as well, like in the second short circuit film. Right, okay. So let's um Right, we're gonna have to do something. So let's go and use our pen knife. Yeah, let's just start stabbing things. Uh yeah, crime. Crime works, that's fine. So not only break and entering, now we've got criminal damage added to our list. Fine. Okay. So we will get the batteries and shove them in uh, the robot. Don't know where it goes, but whatever. Um, that's better. Almost victim of energy crisis. We have to work quickly to save the museum before my power runs low again. Please insert the disc again so I can reprocess the data I sent you. Okay, fine. So we'll put the floppy in, which is now for some reason got, uh, I think, written on the top. So, I have reprocessed information in the disc. The virus caused large virus. Must have missed that part out. Uh, gaps in his memory chips, but I was able to reconstruct some of the missing data from the program uh, I sent you. Modify the disc and put a label on it. You can use the disc to save and record your progress. Okay, until the gaps are filled, you cannot discover the source of the virus infected the museum computers. The virus has thrown the exhibit into chaos. We must go to each exhibit and restore to normal status. Okay. So. What we'll do, we'll skip all this text because honestly we'll be here forever. Um, essentially, all the museum's exhibits are all over the place. So, skippy, 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 skip. Cool, let's go. And it's probably going to be another... Yeah, this is the map. Okay, so the map, we need to go to. This is where we select our place to go. No, okay. It's not where we select the... Uh, the location because we haven't actually put the map back together. So we'll assemble the map, so we'll put that in there. Well, what we'll do, as always, you do the corners. He says, why not doing the corners? But I reckon that's the corner there, and then uh, that's the corner there, and then American flag, and then that one, and then there has to be a corner there, which will be that one. Yeah, there we go. So there's them corners, and um, we'll keep doing this. Because apparently clicking a lot works. Now that goes there, we know, because there's a bit of red text on it. And that'll go on the left, that will go on the right. And that's obviously in the wrong place, so... That's obviously in the wrong place as well. It'll be that piece. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That'll go in the corner. So it's actually quite a simple puzzle, because... It's pretty much all in here. Where's that bit go? Where on earth does that bit go? Um... That doesn't... No, no, that definitely doesn't go there. That goes there, that goes there. Maybe... Aha! We're close, we're very close. That's definitely right there. Another piece goes there, but what piece? Stairwell piece, that. There we go, map, done. So, our map is now completed, I assume? Yes, right, so the map's done. So we can now choose our location. 
Skip, skip, skip. Come on, come on. We're trying to get to one of the exhibits. So, exhibits. What sort of exhibits are there? Well, we've got robots, computer technology, discovery of radio, um, energy technology, simple machines, how big is the universe, solar system. So we've got prehistoric people, the development of writing, knights, heraldry, and jousting. Ooh. Galileo's telescope, and you'll you'll meet all of the uh, different people in the museum like that. So it's actually a mix between Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and um, Excellent Adventure, awesome adventure. Uh, Bill and Ted. Uh, it's a mixture of Bill and Ted and uh, Night of the Museum. Louisiana Purchase, Ellis Island, Salem Witch Trials. That'll be lovely. Uh, Hall of Dinosaurs, Ocean Life, Hall of Animal Exhibits, Hall of Ecology. Is that ecology? Ecology. Earthology. Where's the Wright Brothers? I'm sure there's one about flight. Um, air powered flight. Wright Brothers. Let's let's check the Wright Brothers out. There's also the Transcontinental Railroad there as well. So the music actually changes. Thank goodness. So on December 7th, 1903, two brothers from Ohio, Orville and Wilbur Wright, successfully flew a heavier than aircraft. Heavier than air aircraft. I would have called it heavier than air aircraft. Heavier than aircraft. This flight was the culmination of centuries of dreams and experimentation. So there is the Wright Brothers. See, are those supposed to be electronic exhibits? I really don't know. It never really explains it. So we can actually click on the information panel and it tells, uh, oh, the setup shop, the beach at uh, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. So you've got the Wright Brothers there. Uh, can we go out, can we go to the other side? Yes, we can, okay. So you can actually go to other parts here. And often, ah, oh, right, okay. What the hell is that? Is that a wing? Something like that. Um, often you will get, um, you will get, if there's two sides of the story, you might have to go from left to right and like go to the different exhibits. Let's go on to this side and uh, see what we've got here. Uh, it is, oh, we've got all sorts of stuff. So we've got fuel, we've got other things. Uh, we can't click on any of that. I guess I'm going to have to talk to the Wright Brothers, aren't I? Okay, I'll talk to them and see what they're on about. Come on, keep walking. Keep walking. Them buttons... I'm pretty sure you have to... I'm pretty sure the object is to level out the, uh, the airfoil. Anyway, let's talk to one of these guys. So, I I hope you've come to help us pack. We've wasted enough time here. But you seem so close to making a successful airplane. Waste enough time. We're going back to Ohio, right? No, what about you? Are you going to be a bit more upbeat? Can't talk. We have to pack. We've tried everything, but still have three unsolved problems. We'll never get the flyer off the ground. We're returning to IO to build bicycles, but you can't give up. Can I help? I don't think anyone can help us, but here's a plan for the flying machine that I've been working on. Okay, so we'll pick up the plan for the flying machine. If you can solve this problem, maybe you can convince the Wright brothers to build their airplane. Okay, right, let's let's do that. I mean, I have no... I have no... Oh, God, it's another puzzle. I have no concept of aerodynamics and... <laughs> friction of uh, the, the different uh, the aerofoils and uh, and all of that no no I, I'm just I'm just like an 11 year old <laughs> I mean I don't know how I'm supposed to fix the problem but whatever we'll we'll give it a, we'll give it a right good college try uh let's see where does that go does that no what's that piece there that'll go in no okay I'm trying to where the hell does half this go it's not really that intuitive, is it? Uh, where, where would this go? There, perhaps? Oh, that goes there, I think. And then that goes in there. Yes! Okay. Um, no, that doesn't go in there, but I reckon we're getting closer to it. Which, that'll be in that corner, obviously. Yep. Yeah. And then this piece will go in there. There we go. Now we'll cook them with gas. Sorted. That is what we need to build. Okay. Right, that's done. Excellent. Close. So, hey, Orville, take a look. Maybe this kid can help us after all. You put those scramble fly plans back together. It's worth a try. What can I do to help? Solve our three problems. So, I can't get a flyer off ground. You need to uh, come up with a front. Da -da -da. Better get started before you decide to do anything. Other rooms, the workshop, see what has to be done in each room. Right, so we will start on this room. But this is uh, sort of what, this is pretty much what the game is like. 
it's an edutainment game. You will meet different people from history, or maybe even, well, I was going to say, like, at the time it might have been, like, futuristic stuff, like, the computer room, I might tell you about, like, Turing and things like that, and then going to, like, modern computers and then uh, what the future might hold. But remember, this is a game that's very, I think it's early 90s, so I think it might be just a tad out of date. So I'll have a chat with this guy. Um, test them a thousand times, we can't seem to get to create enough lift to reach the red line on the wall. So we have to make go above the red line. So, shape the wings is the key, try different wing shapes to test them, good luck. Right, okay. So do I... Oh yeah, you can just move these up and down. Right. Well, let's go with a standard wing shape, which is like... Uh, that's level. So it's it's a teardrop, with, it's a, definitely a flat bottom. I'm gonna go with that, right? So that's a that's a thing. Is that why is it not working then? Is there anything I need to do? Uh, so it turns the latest information of aerodynamics from the Smithsonian Institution. However, which information was incorrect or incomplete? The Foster experiment themselves. How to create enough lift with their wing? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with these doors. It's like a bit of a wind tunnel. Let's go to the next area. And it might be like an engine or something like that. And we can uh, start messing around. Aha! That's definitely some sort of... I was going to say definitely some sort of engine, but it could be anything. It could be a Blendtec blender that's exploded or a reducer or whatever. Uh, other, um, <laughs> other appliances that are deconstructed are available. Okay, I haven't figured out how to get the engine to push the flyer forward. Fast enough to take it off. Okay, build new engine parts. Can't make the engine work. Problem is, once it's in some of dad's car, got most of it back together before I got home. Hang on. We completely disassembled an engine and almost got it back together before your dad got home. Unless his dad works away for weeks at a time, I don't think... I mean, I'm, I'm not judging the kid. Maybe he can reassemble an entire engine from scratch. But to take it out of a car and put it back in, if it was like a, nah, it was like a, a car from the 50s and 60s, it might be a bit simpler, but yeah, are you going to mess around with all the electronics and that? No, you're not. Anyway, so we have to mess around with, we have to, mess say mess around, we have to work on the engines. So there's, there's, is these, are these props? Yes, they are. And I'm guessing you can, oh yes, you can put different uh, bits on it to make the uh, propeller. There's an propeller. Right, I don't know if that's the right one, but whatever. Um, let's um, let's 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 see if we can reassemble the engine. So it is ah right. So again, more puzzle pieces. Just plunk them around. So it should be quite a simple task. This one, because all of the layout is here. Although, admittedly, some of it is a little bit obfuscated. Okay, that was an absolute piece of piss. Done. There's an engine. Yeah. So, Juan engine. Let's see what generates the most... Let's see what generates the most um, wind, then. So we've got that. Put it on there. Right, we should have some fuel. Um, it's starting up a, a petrol engine. In, in here can obviously you only work. Oh, good grief. Um, how do we... How do we start the engine? How do we start the engine? Do we have anything to start the engine? Um, flashlight, comb, handkerchief, pen. I mean, pocket knife. Pick the lock? No, no. Uh, can we go up the next... Oh, we can go up the next zone, right? So there's another bit as well, which is... Oh my good grief. Just assemble the entire chassis of an aeroplane, why don't you? Um, you know what? I think this is a future me problem. That is a little bit of museum madness. Um, it's pretty much exactly how I remembered it, which is surprising. A lot of the time I do these nostalgia videos and go, eh, yeah, you know what, I remember this and this and this bit, but this one I can remember loads of it. Um, some of those rooms, admittedly, when I looked at them there, when we were going through, I didn't remember it. Like, I didn't remember the dinosaur room, I didn't know there was one there, although I assumed in a museum you would get one. Uh, and other such things, I do remember the, the computer room, but I remember uh, a lot of the other stuff as well. It's, um, I don't think it's a very good game, 
put it that way. It's, it is an edutainment product. It's okay for, you know, the puzzles are really simple and quite monotonous at times. I'm guessing that uh, it's not a point to click. It's not an adventure game, really. I guess that's the closest thing to it, but... Yeah, it's it's a, it's an edutainment game. It's about going around doing very 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 simple things. The actual gameplay is really really very simple, and it's about learning different things. But you know what? Maybe that's okay. I mean, not now. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't you know use this as a uh, education tool. But uh, would I continue playing a bit more? Yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm certainly gonna continue on and finish this puzzle if nothing else. But uh, either way, that's been a bit, been a little bit of museum madness. I, uh, no, let me know if you've actually played this thing. I would like to hear it. Um, like I say, it is. It's probably one of the oldest games I've uh, done in this uh, nostalgia series. So interested to see if anyone else has played it and what I'm talks you have things like that in terms of getting it uh, good luck it's uh, you can get it on eBay and stuff like that but a quick Google you might be able to find it somewhere who knows either way hope you have enjoyed the video and a little bit of museum madness thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>